everybody, Cobra29 is back with a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to be starting a brand new series. Today, we're doing beginner scripting in 2022. Now, I did this series back in 2021, but I'm redoing it for you guys in 2022 so you guys can um, have some updated code and all that stuff. Uh, without further ado, though, let's just get right on into it. All right, so let's get this going. If you want to learn anything about making games in Roblox, if you want to make a good game, you need to know how to script. So, in this series, I'm going to be teaching you that. Today, we're going to be starting with printing. And if you don't know how to set up Roblox Studio, I'll leave a link in the top right uh, corner, like a little card. It might be from 2021 or 2022, but just follow the first few minutes of that and download Roblox Studio, get that all set up. It'll be the same exact thing whether it's 2021, 2022, it doesn't matter. So once you're in Roblox Studio or logged in, just go ahead and uh, come up to the new button right here and click base plate. So you can go with the classic base plate too if you want, but I'm just going to do the new base plate. I don't know which one I like better, but it, they both work. All right, so welcome to Roblox Studio. Here you are. You've made a game. So uh, let me just explain really quickly. This is the basic uh, like default zone of Roblox. Um, if you know how to uh, do this, you can skip ahead in the video, but basically you can move around by right clicking and dragging your mouse and you can look around all in this 3D area. You can also use the arrow keys or WASD to move around in a three dimensional view. There are also some bars up at the top. There's model or home model test view and plugins. They all have different things, but uh, the main ones we're going to be focusing on are home and view. All right. A couple things to make sure you have open before we begin. Make sure you click on view and make sure the explorer and properties are checked so we can have these two windows open as well as the output. These windows will be super vital in making a uh, game and scripting so you're not going to want to have those closed. You can also open the toolbox but we're not going to be using that during that uh, this series. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the toolbox because we don't really need that and I'm just going to close out this words of encouragement so it's not a distraction. But let's just go ahead and dive right in. First, we're going to be talking about printing. So this video is all about printing and uh, what we can use it for. I know it seems like this is the most boring thing, but it's the most basic and really it's a very, very important thing to learn. If you don't learn this, you're going to have a very hard time scripting later on and it's going to be really frustrating because you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be scrambling when you have errors in your code and something's not working. So yeah, we're going to just start by printing and um, to create a script, which is where all code is, to create a script, you're going to click over here, this little plus, you're going to hover over service script service, click the plus, and then you can search up script and put a script in there, module scripts, local scripts, and scripts. We're just going to go straight for the script right now. All right, welcome to a script. There's so much you can do with this, but as you can see by default, we have this print hello world, okay? So uh, let's just go ahead and name this, rename this script by clicking on the script, and down in properties, we can change the name by clicking it, and we can just call this print, okay? Or maybe print script. So once you have that named, let's just go ahead and come back to this tab right here that says base plate. You can navigate between scripts and the game by clicking these tabs. You can close out the, the tab by clicking that, and to reopen it, you just double click the script. But let's go back to the base plate and click play. As you can see, as soon as we load in, and it's going to have this default character and base plate that's already set up for you by Roblox, so that's really nice. Um, but as you can see, we scroll up in the output, make sure that's open, and we have Hello World right here. How awesome is that? We printed something into the output. So uh, basically what printing is going to do is it's going to help us for debugging. Debugging is a process of taking your code, realizing there's a mistake, and fixing it somehow. So how are we going to fix that? A big way of fixing it is printing. For example, we'll get into this later, but I just want to show you something. You can say print, and you can give it a mathematical function. You can say print 5 plus 5. Let's just hit play real quick. And as you can see, it's printed 10. So it's a computer. We can tell it to do math for us, which is awesome. Um, and we can do other sorts of math, too. We can do print 10 times by using the asterisk, and uh, 5 and that'll multiply, or we can do uh, 5 minus 5. You can do a ton of things, but what if we wanted to print more than one thing? Well, we can say print 5 plus 5, whoops, 5 plus 5, and then we can come out of these parentheses and drop a line. Whatever you put inside of these parentheses is what it's going to print, by the way. And then we can say print 5 minus 5, print 5 times 5, and then print 5 over 5, which is division. So these are some of the basic print functions we can use, and if we go ahead and press play, 
we can see we have 10, 0, 25, and 1, all these mathematical functions that the computer's calculating for us. It's, it's pretty cool when you really get into this because eventually we'll be able to use printing for variables, properties, whatever we want to use it for. It's so powerful. Scripting is so powerful. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, talk a little bit more about this. Um, when you are doing something like this, how do you know what order it's going to go in? Well, basically, scripts automatically go in uh, in an order th the order that they're written in. So first it's going to print 5 plus 5, then it's going to print 5 minus 5, then it's going to print 5 times 5, and you get the point. So uh, what if we did, later on we'll get to this, and we'll get to something like this. We can say if 5 plus 5 equals equals 10, then, so don't <laughs> worry about this. Whoops. Uh, not five then. Then we'll get into this later. Do not worry if this doesn't make sense because I don't expect it to make sense. This is the first lesson. But eventually we'll get into print statements and then we can say print yes, <laughs> five plus um, plus five equals to ten. So we can do something like that. Now there are a couple things I want to talk to you about before we end this the first part. The first thing I want to talk to you about is printing the different data types, okay? So there are a few different types that we can use. There are bools, strings, and floats or integers, and those are the three we're going to be talking about. So let's just give you some examples, uh, and I can say uh, local float, sorry, local integer, let me get rid of that, that was a mistake, equals 5, local bool equals true, and local string equals to hello. Uh, well, let me just say string value. So, um, do not worry if this doesn't make sense. That's totally fine. Um, what I'm just trying to show you is that a string is text, okay? A string is any text. It can be whatever you want. But a string always needs to be inside of quotation marks or else the script's not going to know what to do, right? So let's just try this really quick. Let's say print, um, hello world. All right, it's going to underline these because it doesn't know what to do. And let's just go ahead and click play. And we're going to get this error. All right, we're going to get an error. The computer's confused. It doesn't know what to do. We're trying to print a string. We're confused. And it's just not going to work. So strings always need to be in quotation marks because if we do this, it's thinking we're, um, we're trying to print variables, which we'll get into, I think, in the third part or maybe the second. I can't remember. But um, it's tr thinking that we're trying to print variables. So yeah, the point is when we do strings, they need to be in quotation marks. So the next data type is a bool. So a bool is true or false. And with these, we do not need quotation marks. We can just say true or false and the computer knows what we're talking about. True, it, it's like an if then, so it's like a two way scenario. If one plus one is two, then it's true that one plus one is two. If it's false, which we know it's not false, um, if one plus one is, was three, then um, then it'll be false, right? So it's a true or false, it's yes or no, basically, okay? That's what um, bools are. Lastly, integers. Integers are numbers. Simply put, they're numbers. And any mathematical functions like two plus three, that's still all part of the integer. Um, so those are the three data types we're going to be exploring in this. I hope you enjoyed the first lesson. If you did, please do subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever the next tutorial comes up. It should be in like a week or two that the next one comes out. Uh, and I hope you're excited to learn about scripting. It's going to be so helpful if you want to make Roblox games. And I hope you're as excited as I am. And yeah, let's just... Just keep on scripting, keep on learning, and I'll see you in the next part. But before we go, I want to make a quick shout out to my first Patreon. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. You keep the videos going. If you want to get your name shouted out at the end of the next video, make sure to head over to my Patreon page. The link will be in the description. Also, I have a Discord server, so if you want to talk to some friendly developers or get some help with your scripts from others, make sure to join the Discord server. Link will also be in the description. If the next part is out, make sure to click it. It's somewhere on your screen. If not, make sure to click the little subscribe button. Uh, if the video is not out yet, then it'll be replaced by some other video or something like that. But uh, if it is out, it'll be somewhere on your screen. Otherwise, make sure to click over here to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.